streets. We use them every day, but they are more than just channels for transportation. People usually connect roads for easy access and transportation. However, they are public spaces. And in these spaces, the boundary between pedestrian use and vehicular use can be blurred. Festivals, protests, and social gatherings challenge the functionality of what is considered normal street activity. Each street has its own atmosphere and characteristics that shape how both vehicles and people use it. In this video, we will focus on five streetscapes, the first being Bourbon Street. Bourbon Street is the iconic hub for the yearly celebration of Mardi Gras. On the southern edge of Louisiana, Bourbon Street in New Orleans welcomes over 1 million visitors each year for the celebration in the streets, totaling around 18 million visitors annually. What started as a yearly tradition to celebrate the day before Lent in the Western Christian faith turned into a multiple day long party in the streets, centering on Bourbon Street. During the celebration of Mardi Gras, massive crowds of people block the streets, making them inaccessible to drivers. For a week, normal traffic conditions are abandoned for fun times, pop-up performances, and parades. Although many tourists attend Mardi Gras, Bourbon Street's main attractions are its nightclubs and bars. Less than a mile long, Bourbon Street sports 14 bars and around 25 restaurants. On Mardi Gras, this brings a street to life, since it is legal to consume alcohol on the street here, where people party and observe the tradition of people flashing themselves from balconies all along the street. Historically, Bourbon Street was a premier residential neighborhood known as the French Quarter, a central image of New Orleans. This image changed into one of brothels and bars when the streets around Bourbon Street began to center around prostitution and gambling. People began to flock to Bourbon Street for its romantic sexual attractions and alcohol availability, with the northeast end of the street catering to the growing LGBTQ community. As Bourbon Street developed, it became a place where people came to let go of their morals. This, however, led to vulnerability in visitors and tourists. With its visitors drinking excessively and losing awareness of their surroundings to the bustling nightlife, Bourbon Street became a prime location for petty theft and scams. For this reason, Bourbon Street has been deemed unsafe to some, causing fear of the night scene and the crowded street. Amid the transition to bars and gambling during the late 1800s and early 1900s, jazz was invented as musicians took to the streets and the brothels to make a living on the style that developed into jazz music. This music style led to the development of New Orleans Musical Legends Park, located on Bourbon Street, where people gather for free, live jazz performances at night. The area that spans from 42nd Street to 47th Street, otherwise known as Times Square, is the heart of New York and the destination of thousands of tourists. It is a hotspot for not only tourists, but also native New Yorkers. The bustling square is most famous for the many attractions and commercial buildings that surround it. From Broadway shows to luxury stores, there is always something to do. Like the electric billboards that light up the sky, people flicker throughout the day and night. Regardless of the time of day, it remains a place of activity and engagement. It is what makes New York City the city that never sleeps. The square is always full of people. On the daily, about 330,000 to 400,000 people visit Times Square, whether they are there casually conversing in groups or simply passing by. Due to its excessive usage, Times Square encompasses feelings of respite and relaxation, as well as chaos and fear. It is commonly known that Times Square reflects the fast-paced atmosphere of New York. This characteristic can create feelings of adrenaline and fear. In busy atmospheres, close proximities to large amounts of people can be frightening and overwhelming. Such proximity can be daunting in situations like the motorcycle backfire that was mistaken for gunshots in 2019. Panic-stricken crowds scattered in the square, causing injury and chaos. People utilized adjacent commercial buildings as shelters during the confusion. Times Square is chaotic at times. However, there can be pockets of calm isolation. Above the TKTS ticket booth, there are a set of large red stairs. While this space is ideal for meetings and events, you can also find both tourists and workers alike taking a break to catch their breath within all the hustle and bustle of the street life. The biggest event that establishes Times Square as a hotspot is the New Year's Ball Drop. 
This event is the biggest New Year's celebration, and at least one million people come to attend this tradition every year. Families, friends, and strangers from all over come to gather in Times Square to commemorate the new year. Street space is sacrificed for temporary stages and people flood in, taking up blocks upon blocks of streetscape. Detours must be made across the city for traffic to avoid this large gathering of people. Monte Carlo, Monaco, is a city that lives on its streets. An immensely popular tourist retreat, the city is home to many attractions and amenities, from its old town's alleys to its annual race called the Monaco Grand Prix. Every year, seven weeks before May, the city enters a dramatic makeover, changing many of its pedestrian walkways and plazas. The race cuts through the very center of the city's most iconic locations. To account for the racetrack's requirements, Monte Carlo's streetscape has been dramatically altered, directly impacting the pedestrian use. To meet the Grand Prix racing requirements, some of Monte Carlo's main streets are wider than the conventional road width. The roads are made without curbs, requiring the use of removable barriers. Without the use of curbs, controlling the routine movement of pedestrians through crosswalks is almost impossible. Although these barriers increase safety on the reverse side of the vehicles, anxiety for motorists is still extremely high. Monte Carlo's expansion of roads and public areas creates the need for a more intimate atmosphere. Old Town is the location many people seek out to obtain this experience. Due to the strict pedestrian use, the streetscape offers a complete escape from vehicular traffic. Through close connectivity, human interactions are far more common. Here, we witness cooks and customers exchanging conversation. Because of the track's fame, many common spots in the road have been transformed into tourist attractions. Casino Square, Mirabu Hout, and Tunnel are now identifiable landmarks. As seen in this video, Mirabu Hout attracts crowds of tourists. However, during the race, it is transformed into a protective wall. Due to the interaction of the Monaco Grand Prix, Monte Carlo's streetscape has been completely altered for one annual event. This characteristic defines the city's appeal for spaces with and without vehicular interaction, as well as influences its unique pedestrian attributes. While Christopher Street started off as any other street in New York, providing a place for socialization and casual behavior, it has grown to become a global icon. Starting off in the 1960s as a hotspot for the LGBTQ community, it quickly grew into a landscape of fear and unease. Bars located on the street, like the Stonewall Inn, were used as escapes from the community in the city because police raids were common occurrences. What was once a place of freedom and happiness was now becoming one of distrust and constant fear. Due to this fear and hiding on Christopher Street, in 1969, when the Stonewall Inn was raided again, the people had enough and rioted against the police. Using the open streets as a place to protest and barricade against the police, the people made their stand. Because of these actions years ago, the world today sees Christopher Street as a beacon of change and people now use it freely as a place to celebrate and express themselves. So far, we have covered streets that you may have never even walked on. But now, we will examine one that you might be a little more familiar with. Allen Street and Beaver Avenue collide to create an iconic destination with a plethora of shops, restaurants, bars, and apartments. Allen and Beaver are pedestrian hotspots that battle with vehicular traffic. From everyday students traveling to classes to the diverse demographic of residents and visitors, the streets are constantly in use for downtown pedestrian exploration. These times are usually casual, with a few moments of excitement, but the boundary of sidewalk and street is present. Allen and Beaver are not only used for student connections. The use of these streets change depending on who and what's occupying them, with the boundary of street and sidewalk blurring or completely disappearing. During the summer months, when the student population is much smaller, the amount of State College residents, or townies, is more noticeable. But for a few days over the summer, the atmosphere of these streets is completely changed into one of creativity and expression. ArtsFest brings around 125,000 people to State College over the course of several days, 
with Allen Street and several other streets being closed for art booths, food vendors, and other attractions. ArtsFest is full of excitement and joy. The 53-year tradition allows for friends and family to reconnect and enjoy the events right on the street. An absence of seating creates an opportunity for impromptu seating, like curbs, barricades, and the pavement itself. Allen and Beaver do not always have the tranquility that ArtsFest brings. At times, the streets are filled with intense emotions. They can be filled with rage. Certain events can turn the streets, particularly Beaver, into a canyon of fear. Anything on or surrounding the street is liable to be engulfed by the mob, breaking the line of pedestrian and street yet again in a completely different way. Emotions are associated with streets, not because of the street itself, but because of the people and the events that occur on them. People are what makes spaces important. Streets are not just channels of transportation. When this perception is altered, they have the possibility of becoming emotionally charged landscapes.